Leave. Go find another show to be on. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Well, that's it for me. I'll tell you what, the benefit is safe. I don't care. You think I care? Well, I don't care. See? But you'll all be in big trouble because I'm going to report you all to Jim Davis. The nerve of those people. Could we have some dialogue from time to time, please? Don't they know whose show this is? Whose name is in the title? Does it say the Eddie Gorman show at the beginning? I don't think so. Ooh. Hello? Anybody here? Stage manager? Director? Writers? Hello? Everybody's deserting me today. There isn't even any background music. Oh. Well, at least they left me a script for this week. The Big Discovery. Eh, already I don't like it. Note to self, remember to fire the writers. Okay, let's see here. Fade in exterior Arbuckle House day. John doing something. New character. Eh, I'm sick of new characters. When do I get to be on my show? Oh, here I am. We find Garfield curled up in bed, sound asleep. <laughs> First good idea they've had. <sighs> Maybe a short dream sequence will help. I don't need... Oh, I could do the show all by myself. <laughs> I could play all the parts. <laughs> I could do the show. I don't need those guys. I don't need anyone. Oh, 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 No, I will not fetch the stick. Oh, oh, Can you believe we paid someone to write that? There is absolutely nothing in this world that could get me out of bed today. Who your feel? I'm going out for a while. My nieces Drusilla and Minerva are coming by for a visit. Arf, arf. Nothing in this world, not even John's nieces. <laughs> John's nieces! <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Uncle John! Uncle John! <laughs> I don't think he's here, Minerva. I keep telling you. I'm Drusilla, you're Minerva. <laughs> oh, right. And we're here to play with the... <gasps> kitty cat! <laughs> we're gonna play with the kitty cat! We're gonna play with the kitty cat! Please stay away from the kitty cat! Please stay away from the kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat. <laughs> Don't fear me Kitty now. cat! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, those won't keep them out. I need something large to barricade the door. Bed? This refrigerator? Elephant! I can't eat You don't understand, Agnes. This cat does terrible things to me. Well, for instance, he just dropped a bed on me. Ah! And a refrigerator. Ah! And of course, an elephant. I, I, do me a favor. There are two little girls chasing me. Distract them while I get away. Will you do that for me? Ah! Elephant! Ah! That style is strong. We need to moisturize him. Agnes, I'm coming home. This episode's starting to get a little bit silly. I think I did it. I think I got away from him. I must have. I'm not in ladies' clothing. I'm safe. Hi, Garfield. I'm not safe. Normal. That's right. It's me, Normal. The cutest kitten on this or any other planet. I think I dropped the elephant on the wrong person. Sorry! 
Do you have a reason for being here, Normal? Or did you just come by to tell me how cute you are? I just came by to tell you how cute I am. Okay, at least he's being honest. Excuse me, but I'm a very important, powerful agent from Hollywood. I just saw you standing here, and I couldn't help but notice how incredibly handsome and adorable you are. Naturally. No, not you. I meant the other one. I've never seen a handsomer face than that. You're beautiful. <laughs> you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. No, no, I'm beautiful. Take a look at this. No, I don't think so. Would you mind if I made you a fabulously rich and famous TV star? Well, as long as I'm home in time for dinner. Not a problem. We need a truly beautiful animal for a new commercial. We'll be doing a screen test, and if you're the one, you'll be fabulously rich and famous. It's not fair! It's not fair, I tell you! <laughs> Put me on TV! Put this face on TV! I have to get that screen test for myself and beat Garfield out to become fabulously rich and famous. Okay, so uh, what do I do? Well, just do what you do huh? best. Fine. Eating or sleeping? I have to go scout more talent, but the director will take care of you. And remember, you're beautiful, baby. Nah, you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Okay, have it your way. I'm beautiful. Uh, what do I do now? Mr. Director! Here I am, Garfield. No, we'd just like to see you do a little dance for us. Oh, sure, um, how's this? Fine, fine. Now, uh, turn around. <laughs> oh, if he gets his job, I won't be able to stand it. I have to do something. Very good, Garfield. Now, uh, uh for the next part of your screen test... <laughs> He's done. Now it's time for my screen test. Put the camera on me. Let it show how awesome I am. Normal, this is my screen test. I uh, think we have what we need on you, Garfield. We'll test this cat now. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Normal cat. Starve tomorrow. Uh, give me a second, Normal. I'll be right back. My awesomeness, and I will be waiting, Mr. Director Person. <laughs> All right, Normal. I want you to do everything I say. Okay, ready. Lift up your left foot. Lift up your right foot. Fall down and go boom. No. Get up. Stand on your head. Stand on your feet. Quack like a duck. Oh, quack, quack. Eat a pint of yogurt. Boogie till you drop. Do a push up. One. <laughs> Collapse from exhaustion. <laughs> That's great, great, Dermal. <laughs> you tricked me, Garfield. Well, I don't care. I'm going to get this job. No, you're not. I'm going to be fabulously rich and famous, and I'm going to get this job. <laughs> I'm a lot more adorable than you are, and more talented, huh? and I'm oh. cuter in every way, and everyone says so. You're not as awesome as you think you are, Normal, and I'm going to mail you to Abu Dhabi again, you annoying cat. Hey, guys, guys, you got to stop arguing. Which, Which one, one is getting get your job? Neither huh? one of you. I found an animal more adorable than both of you put together. Show them what you can do, Jumbo. I'm gonna make that elephant fabulously rich and famous. So, what do you think? I think huh? we need to learn that. Right. And a one, and a two. Whoa, what a dream sequence. And I really like the cast. That's the answer. I really don't need anybody else. I'll play all the roles from now on. Maybe I can even play the elephant's part. First, I'll play myself. That's not much of a stretch. Snore, snore, snore. Then I'll play Odie. And then, John. I'll play John. Garfield, I want you to behave yourself. This is how I behave. If you don't behave, no lasagna for you. You can't mean it. I do mean it. And I can play Vito, too. Ah, Senor Arbuckle, I have a nice hot pizza for your pussy gato. Ah, 
smells great. What's on it? <laughs> it's just what you asked for. A little special with the anchovies. Anchovies? I didn't want anchovies. You asked for the anchovies. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did. I can't do this. I can't do this all by myself. Too many Noahs and yeses and stuff. I need others on my show. I need Odie. <laughs> yes, I need you, Odie. Yes, and I need you, John. We all decided to come back, Garfield. Yeah. And I need you. And I need you. And I need you. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> but I really need you without the anchovies. Ah, no anchovies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, everyone, I, I've learned my lesson. I'll give you all lines on the show. I'll share the spotlight. I'll even see about paying some of you. Can you ever forgive me? No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you so much. Hey, Garfield, how about sharing that pizza with us? I'd like nice to be yeah. that Are you out of your minds? No. 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 But I'm famished. Oh. <laughs> I'm always famished. You have your choice of lasagna or lasagna or lasagna or lasagna or lasagna. Oh, and here we have what a surprise lasagna. Hmm, it's a tough choice, but I think I'll have uh, oh, lasagna. <laughs> Gee. I wonder who repacked my picnic basket. I am adorable. Adorable am I. <sighs> I wonder what the opposite of adorable is. Oh, yeah. It's Bruno. Hiya, Bruno. Sorry you're not as cute as I am. Then again, who is? Whoa! What do you mean? I mean, face reality. I look like this. And you look like this. Oh. Oh, Help! Help! Raw jealousy! Right behind me! Whoa! You're gonna get it this time, Normal! Somehow, Garfield left us one can of dog food for you, Odie. I'll get him later. Now, let's see if you know who left me anything to eat, which I doubt. Dr. Puzzle, welcome fellow fiends and nefarious colleagues to the third annual Evil Mastermind Convention. Yeah. <laughs> now, how many of you are planning on conquering the world? Could I see a show of hands and tentacles? 
<laughs> Looks like most of you. Well then, you'll be most interested in the latest must-have accessory for world domination. <gasps> the Retro Switcheroo Laser Gun! <laughs> yes, this ingenious device will cause two people to trade personalities. Please give a warm welcome to my nemesis, Secret Agent 00 Nothing. <gasps> He will be the unlucky test subject. And over here, we have a frog. I will set the retro switcheroo for a complete personality exchange. <laughs> yes, certainly. I'd like to get some dead flies, please. Shaken, not stabbed. <laughs> But now, let me demonstrate on two random creatures I shall select with my scopatronic device. Oh, we don't need our test creatures anymore. No! Keep eating like that, Garfield, and you'll never be adorable like me. I don't want to be like you, Nermal. I want people to be able to stand me. These two will be fine subjects on which to conduct my demonstration. How come I never realized how cute and adorable I really am? Oh, meow. Mm. Lasagna. Hello. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yes. Yep, right up. We accept cash, credit cards, and checks if you have your evil scientist's ID card. I want two. One to conquer the world with, and one to switch my lawyer's personality with a snake's. How will you know the difference? It looks like it's up to me to stop this insidious Dr. Puzzle. But I'm going to need help. I can't stand that little twerp always saying, I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. He isn't. I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. Face it, Bruno. Some of us are cute, and some of us are not. You are not. You. You're acting just like normal! <laughs> I am not acting like normal. I'm adorable, and I'm cute, and I'm acting like normal! <laughs> I'm acting like normal! I must be! I'm starting to make myself sick! Normal! Ah! Oh, oh, it's you, Garfield. I thought it was uh, someone. Normal, we've exchanged personalities. Oh. Big, fat, hairy deal. I said when I get my paws on you, Normal! Help! Put me down! Help! Dr. Puzzle, can the retro switcheroo laser gun swap personalities that have already been swapped? I don't see why not. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I don't want to pound Normal. I want to eat lasagna. <laughs> Mm. All right, Bruno. You're in for it now. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Help! Yeah. Save me! Ooh, while you're at it, feed me! Normal's acting like Bruno, and Bruno's acting like me. I don't understand what's going on. Hey, you, sitting there watching this cartoon. You must know. Well, why don't you just fill me in? I'll what? tell you why you and your friends are acting so oddly today. Good. And also tell me why someone as cute as me is talking to a frog with an English accent. We've all been subject to Dr. Puzzle's personality swapping device. Mm. How do we undo it? I don't want to be like Nermal. I'm this close to milling myself to Abu Dhabi. Get the little cat and come with me. We must hurry. What? Come on, Nermal. Or Bruno, or me, or whoever you are at the moment. I need a nap. 
No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. <laughs> That's the secret lair of Dr. Puzzle. Soon, fellow evil scientists, I shall deliver the inventions you ordered. Then each of us will conquer this planet. But there's only one planet. How can we all conquer it? <laughs> You're evil scientists. You figure it out. Wait, we have intruders to deal with. Guards, seize them and feed them to the sharks. Huh? Hey, you leave us alone. It's kind of handy for Normal to have Bruno's personality. Have I mentioned how adorable I am? 68 times and counting. And now, I'm gonna take care of all of you! Personalities stored in the retro switcheroo. I will give you all the personalities of frogs. I don't want to be a frog. Oh, it's what? not so bad. <laughs> 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 What do we do now, Frog? How do we get our old personalities back? How? Could it be? Am I me again? The destruction of the machine seems to have undone its effects. You must be pretty happy to be you again. Certainly. You try eating flies all afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> It's almost sundown, guys. Time to start heading for home. So because of that evil scientist, I was acting like Nermal, and Nermal was acting like me, and then Bruno... But now, I'm me again. And that's great because me is the cutest creature on this planet. There he is! <laughs> oh, don't hurt me. I have a cat show tomorrow and another one on Thursday. When I get through with you... <laughs> that evil scientist? No, I'm not worried about him. <laughs> now, if I was a fly, I might be worried. Mm -hmm. Don't hurt me! You!
you believe it, guys? A comic book shop actually wants me there today to sign autographs. They probably just want to see if you know how to write your name. Right now. Shh. It's my Cape Avenger costume. Just in case there's a world crisis or anyone wants my autograph. The shop's up ahead, guys. I'll bet there's a line all the way around the block of fans who want my signature. getting here. I just love ultra-powerful guy comics. I can't understand it, Mr. Arbuckle. I advertised for weeks that you'd be here. I thought everyone who loves your work would show up. We are all here. They didn't turn out for you. They didn't even come to see the rarest comic book in the world, ultra-powerful guy number one. <laughs> I thought people would come to see it if I had a copy on display. Isn't that worth, like, a million dollars? It sure is. The guy who loaned it to me insisted I hire a security guard to stand watch on it. But it didn't draw a big crowd either. Aren't there a few people in the store? Just a few and not enough. I've run out of ideas to attract customers. Looks like I'm gonna have to go out of business. I know what this store needs. Yes, it needs excitement. It needs celebrity. It needs an appearance by the most super of all superheroes. The Cape Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Hey, no snickering about the costume. Last week at a convention, I bought the entire run of Colossal Mystery Comics, 425 issues, all in mint condition and sealed in plastic. <laughs> if they're sealed in plastic, how are you gonna read them? Read them? I got my whole life savings in this place and I'm not making enough to pay the rent. Oh, don't worry, Rupert. Something will change. Fate will just walk through the front door. I'm here! <laughs> Okay, well, now I'm over here. It is I, the Cape Avenger, 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 Avenger. No! It's a real life superhero. It's an overweight cat in a bad costume. Right both times, men. And now I will. <laughs> hey, whatever that was, I didn't do it. It sounds like it came from outside. My front window with the million dollar comic book. Harry P. I didn't do it. Not my fault, whatever it is. It's gone. The copy of Ultra Powerful Guy number one is gone. I'll call the police. Odie, be careful of that broken glass all over the sidewalk. Hello? Uh, I'd like to report a robbery. A very expensive robbery. Huh? How am I gonna pay for that comic book? I'm ruined. All right, let's run through this one last time. Yeah, it's like I said, officer. This guy in a costume, he looked like a super villain, ran up outside the window and used some sort of superpower hammer thingy. He broke the window, knocked me out, grabbed the comic, mm. and disappeared. I see. You think you could describe him well enough that our police artist could make a sketch of him? I'll try, but he was wearing a mask. Odie, hmm? this looks like a job for... Fanfare? <gasps> The Kate Avenger, 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 Avenger. Where's my trusty sidekick, Slurp? Oh, hi, trusty sidekick, Slurp. Where's your costume? Well, then dream one up. Use your imagination. How many times do I have to tell you the sidekick can't have a better costume than the hero? No time to change. There's a super villain lurking about. Let's roll! Your 
probably wondering if there's an origin story for the Cape to Venger, Venger, Venger. Well, there is. Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot, so my disguise must be able to strike terror into their hearts. I will base my costume on the next thing I see. Senor, huh? here is the pizza you ordered. Of course it will scare everyone. It has anchovies on it. <clears throat> All right. Better? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Let's find a despicable repulsive supervillain to defeat. Wow. <sighs> because, because that's what it feels like us do, that's, that's why. why. Hey. Nope. No despicable repulsive supervillains around here. Let's eat. Cape Avenger! Cape Avenger! No autographs. And you forgot my echo. There's a despicable repulsive supervillain robbing the bank! Leaping lasagna! Wait! Did you say he was despicable? Yes. And is he repulsive? Very. This sounds like a job for the, the Cape, Cape Avenger, 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 Avenger. He's also very dangerous. This sounds like a job for the Cape Avenger's sidekick. <laughs> Call me after you defeat him. I'll be in Bermuda. <gasps> there he is now. Hey, Cape Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. I just robbed the bank you keep your money in. What are you going to do about it? The thing any self-respecting superhero would do? Move my money to another bank. <laughs> no, it's too late. He's already stolen my money. We have to get it back. Onward, overdressed sidekick. <laughs> Wanna give up? No. Even though I have incredible speed? Watch this. I'll run completely around the world. <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. There was a traffic jam on a highway in Luxembourg. So, wanna give up now? No. Even though I have incredible strength? Watch as I lift the heaviest object around here. Me. <laughs> John was right. I need to lose a few pounds. Want to give up now? No, I think I'd rather do this. I think I'll give up the part about arresting supervillains and just wear the suit and look cool. Odie, I came through the wall this way and the bricks are out here. Huh? Odie, I think I solved the crime. Huh? Yes. Crashing through that wall like that reminded me of a story I once read in an issue of Ultra Powerful Guy. Come on. Ultra Powerful Guy, Ultra Powerful Guy. Ah, here they are. Now, which issue was it? Nope, not this one. No, not this one either. Wait, I think this is it. It is. Come on. I'll be honest with you, Rupert. The chances of us finding this supervillain and returning the comic book are very slim. So are my chances of staying in business. I have to go back to the police station. Wait, superhero to the rescue! I don't have time to read comic books. Here, read this, read these panels. What are you trying to get me to? Ultra powerful guy says when a window is broken, the pieces of glass travel in the same direction as the impact. Since the shards of glass were on the outside, that means the window was broken from the inside. That's right. The pieces of glass were on the outside. Which means whoever broke it did it from the inside. Uh-oh. Uh stop that man! Let's go! Somebody stop that guy! He won't get away! <laughs> Any idea which way you went, faithful sidekick? <laughs> Thanks to your super-powered nose, we're on that trail. Sally is a dead end, but if he comes this way, he can use this board to get over the fence. Huh? 
think I lost him. Some out of this yard. They'll never catch me. Another job well done by the Caked Avenger, if I do say so myself. And apparently, I have to. The guard confessed. Oh, thank you, officer. <laughs> Don't thank me. The cat is the one who solved the mystery. Yeah, I did. I feel like that really good-looking blind guy in the cartoons with the big scared dog. Why so glum, Rupert? You got back the comic. Yeah, but I'm gonna lose the comic book store. Nothing I do gets customers in here. Excuse me, is this the place we heard about on the news? Where the superhero foiled a comic book robbery. <laughs> it is. There's the caped Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. <laughs> 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 Just looks like you have customers. <laughs> Lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Hey, Batman, eat your heart out. Hey, don't don't crowd. There's enough of me to go around. Mr. Cannell, you've got to give me another chance. I've given you 97 other chances, Al. Then give me 98. I know I haven't caught many dogs lately. None. And that's unacceptable, especially now. Did you hear about the new law? Uh, what new law? And the mayor's office has announced a crackdown on dogs running around without leashes. Any unleashed dog will be hauled off to the pound, and his owner will pay a steep fine. Oh, good. Odie's always running around without a leash. <gasps> Odie! Garfield! Anyone? Odie's out someplace walking around without a leash. I better find him before I get tossed in the pound and he has to pay a steep fine. All right, one last chance, but only because I don't have anyone else. I won't let you down. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'll be driving around. If I see one dog not on a leash, you're fired. I won't let you down. Yes, you will. <sighs> I'm so hungry, I could pass out any second. I know I shouldn't have skipped my third breakfast. No, no. Hi, Garfield. Huh? How many hot dogs? The usual order? <gasps> okay, all of them. I don't know if I can wait any longer. I'm losing consciousness fast. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. There's that lasagna I ate last night. There's the prime rib from last Easter. It's no use. I can't make it. I'm sorry. I'm... I Quick, Garfield. Eat this hot dog. Hurry. You forgot the relish. The park is the best place to find leashless dogs. Yes! Drat. Bingo! Target acquired. 19 more of these and I should be good as new. Hello, puppy. Huh? You are under arrest for running around without a leash. It is my duty to advise you of your rights as a dog. You have the right to remain silent and not bark. You have the right to a flea collar, and if you cannot afford one, one will be purchased before any further scratching. Do you understand these rights as I have explained them to you? Puppy? Hey, cat! Did you see where the puppy went? Yes. 
Hey, that nose of yours could use some of this. Ah! I can't believe you put mustard all over my nose. You're lucky I don't have hot chili. I'll take care of you, cat, and your little dog, too. Whoa. Come with me if you want to live. You won't get away from me! I'm too smart for you! You see, dogs aren't the only creatures that can spend all day chasing their own tails. A dog without a leash! That's it! <laughs> Please, Mr. Canal, this is my life. I'm a dog catcher. Not anymore, you aren't. You're fired. You have been goofing off. You've been eating hot dogs instead of catching real dogs. I wasn't eating hot dogs. Don't lie to me. You have mustard all over your face. Shame on you, Odie. Because of you, that nice dog catcher just lost his job. <laughs> All right, let's celebrate. Vito has a special two pizzas for the price of one. Does that sound good? Good. Then I'll eat both and you watch. Where are you going to find anyone else for this job? Anyone can do it. I'm tempted to hire the next person who walks by. Excuse me, have either of you seen a cute little dog around here? You like dogs, do you? Oh, sure. Well, have you ever considered catching them for a living? What do you do? I'm a cartoonist. Oh, well, this is different. This is a real job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much for Al the dog catcher. I wonder what numbskull they'll get to do that job now. <laughs> you're right. A person would have to be pretty dumb to... Congratulate me, guys. You're looking at the new city dog catcher. Don't worry, Odie. John will be down any minute to feed us. See you this evening, guys. Gotta go catch dogs. Excuse me, breakfast? We'd like some breakfast? John has left the building. Well, looks like we'll have to prepare our own meals. Let's see, I'm thinking lasagna, ravioli, rigatoni, pasta, part of your nutritious breakfast. Fortunately, John left the refrigerator crammed full of food. <laughs> it's time to put an end to John's new career and my new lack of food. <laughs> Three more. So that's where all our food is gone. John's using it as bait. This is not good, Odie. Not good at all. While John's catching dogs, our plates go empty. <laughs> huh? All I ever wanted to be in life was a dog catcher. When I was a small boy, all the other kids would play with dogs. <laughs> I just wanted to catch them. <laughs> One year for Christmas, my Uncle Nathan gave me the cutest little mm. cocker spaniel you ever saw. It had soft ears and big sad eyes. I threw a net over it and took it to the pound. <laughs> Woody, we've got to get that man his job back, which means we have to get John fired. We need a dog he can't catch. <laughs> you know the old saying I just made up? When you want the perfect dog, get a cat. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, oh, there's that old department store mannequin. That'll come in handy for the final scene in this episode. Right now, I'm trying to find... Ah, remember this, Odie? It's that dog costume I wore back in season one. Remember that cartoon where I ate all that lasagna? Hey, not bad. Arf, arf, woof, woof. 
Bow wow, woof woof, yip yip. Didn't know I could speak a foreign language, did you? Hey, this magnet will be useful. Now you stay here. We can't have you walking the streets without a leash. John would lock you up. Okay, I'm off to catch me a dog catcher. Woof woof arf. Woof woof arf. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> Observe the amateur dog catcher, thinking he can attract a dog with a rotten cat impression. Oh well. It's showtime! Bark, bark! Bark, bark, bark! Missed! Bow wow. Huh? So that's how you want to play, smart guy. Wait till I catch you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. May I show you to a table? Signora Bacco! No! No, the my restaurant! Please! My lovely restaurant! No, 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 no! Look out! I'm sorry. You look like a dog. My restaurant! My restaurant! Oh, 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 Vito, that was one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, there is a modest cover charge for the entertainment. <laughs> that dog is as agile as a cat. Woof, woof. <laughs> You're mine. You're wrong. <laughs> Okay, time to get caught. <laughs> yip, 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 yip. Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha, I'm too smart for you. Yeah, way too smart. <laughs> There's the keys to this hotel. <laughs> No, no! Get back in the kennel! Sounds like Arbuckle's caught a lot of dogs. Hiring him was the smartest thing I ever did. Oh, Mr. Cannell, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know how all the dogs got away, but... Arbuckle! Uh... You're even more incompetent than that idiot I fired! I'd better get him back while I can. But, Mr. Cannell! So, Mr. Cannell not only offered me my job back, I got a raise. The guy he replaced you with, he must have been really terrible. <laughs> I'll say. I wonder what he's gonna do now. <sighs> he's going back to being a cartoonist. <laughs> <laughs> That's the puppy that got me fired. If he's not on a leash, he goes to the pound. And this time, he can't escape. Huh? <laughs> I told you that mannequin would come in handy in the last scene. This threat to the existence of this planet came not from without, but from within. 
Not from outer space, but from deep within the Earth's core. There, for thousands of years, the Sloth people have dwelled. Dwelled in a kingdom ruled by their leader, King Glorm. My people! The time has come for us to conquer the beings who live on the outside of our planet. <laughs> this will be easy, for they are fat and lazy creatures. And we shall make it even easier through the power of... Procrastination. Mm. Procrastination is the act of putting things off until a later time. It's the finest way man has invented to get absolutely nothing accomplished. Huh? Here we see a demonstration of world-class procrastination. Um... Garfield, please take out the trash. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, and you were supposed to clean out the garage. I'll do it next week. And I need you to take a package over to Aunt Ivy's house. I'll do it the century after next. <sighs> putting huh? things off and putting them huh? off and putting them off. Mm -hmm. That is procrastination at its finest. Even now, all across the surface world, our transmission antennas are rising, sending out the procrastination rays to every corner of my planet. Rays that will increase to the maximum everyone's tendency to procrastinate. the earth, instilling in every man, woman, and child a deep sense that everything can and should be done at another time. Huh? Hey, you're a fireman, Bob. Don't you have a fire to put out? Yeah, but I'll do it later. Soon, the state had come to a complete standstill, prompting the governor to call a press conference. With no one accomplishing anything, we have a major crisis. In order to get to the bottom of this, I'm appointing a special committee. One of these days, don't much matter. Nobody showed up to hear me anyways. I think I'll just go home and do nothing. Maybe do that later. With the surface world paralyzed, King Glorm began sending his sloth people to seize control of the exterior world. Conquering the surface people will be simple. They won't even lift a finger to fight back. Is there no one up there who will do anything now? No one. <laughs> well, there is one possibility. <laughs> the procrastination ray makes everyone into a total procrastinator. <laughs> However, if there is someone who already was like that, it will transform them into a total non-procrastinator. <laughs> but how could there be anyone who is that lazy? <laughs> No, I am not going to... And even as the ray transformed the puppy into a procrastinator, it changed the cat into the exact opposite. Yes, I will throw the stick, and I'll throw it now, now, now! Go get it, boy! Go fetch the stick! 
What do you mean? You fetch it later. I can't worry about that. I have things to do now. Garfield became the most ambitious creature on the face of the planet. He took out the trash. He cleaned up the garage. He even took John's package over to Aunt Ivy's house. Don't say anything. You're not really in this episode. I'm not due for dinner for three more hours, but I think I'll have it now. One of the advantages of not putting things off. <laughs> but Garfield now seemed to be the only one who felt that way. I was going to make a pot roast, but I'll do it later. No, no, now! Do it now! Ooh. Besides, I can't go to the market. My paycheck hasn't arrived. Paycheck? I'll get it for you. The mailman wasn't delivering the mail. I'll get around to it sooner or later. Probably later. How am I going to get anything to eat? I know. Vito. Even Vito the pizza maker was? Well, you know where this is going. Ah, my little pussycato. I shall make you not one, not two, but ten delicious pizzas. Yes, yes, go. Do that now. As soon as I return from my vacation in Italy. Oh! <laughs> John won't do anything. Odie won't do anything. The mailman won't do anything. Vito won't do anything. What has caused this? The cat pondered the problem, unaware that its cause was but blocks away. What? How could he have imagined that King Glorm and the sloth people from the center of the Earth were at the park at that moment, flocking to the surface, massing to begin the total conquest of the world. Sloth people? Conquest of the world? Oh, tell me more. They had used the procrastination ray to... I'll tell you some other time. No, tell me now. Even the narrator won't do anything. I said they were at the park. Before nightfall, the people of Earth will be our slaves. What good are they? What do you mean? Earth people don't do anything. What good are slaves who don't do anything? Yeah! Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. Oh, I know. Once they are our slaves, I can push this button to reverse the procrastination rays and make them useful. Oh, yeah. Hail, Glorm, ruler of the world! <laughs> so, let us enslave the surface dwellers, and then I shall push this button! Here, Smiley, I'll save you the trouble. An Earth creature actually doing something! Seize him! <laughs> said to press this button. Hey, I'm going to prepare dinner. And while I'm cooking, I'll throw the stick so you can fetch it, Odie. I can do two things at once. I can do ten things at once. Mr. Arbuckle, I brought your mail. Your paycheck's in here. Ah. Everywhere he ran, the brave cat was pursued by sloth people. Hey, it must be working. My narrator's back. He ran as fast as he could, but soon he was trapped. Uh-oh. Like he said... Give me the device, and then we will destroy you. Wonder what happens if I press this button that says, Procrastination rays for our side. <laughs> This creature will be eliminated. 
Ah, but we could do that later. Wow! Nice of them to label this thing like that for me. We shall conquer the surface world, but we'll do it in a few thousand years from now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fine. 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 Around. And so the sloth people and their leader return to their city at the center of the earth, not to be seen again for a long, long time. Looks like I saved the world again. And I guess this episode is just about over. All we need is the closing joke. The closing joke. We always like to end these with me saying something funny. So the writer's gonna send over a line for me to do. I should be here any minute. Yep, any minute now. <laughs> Probably on its way. Boy, I hope he didn't put it off. I don't know about putting things off. I do say so myself, and I often do. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Good. The detour sign's in place. Let's hide. <gasps> this way to enter contest for cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Well, that's moi. I didn't know about this contest, but I'll win it. I always do. <laughs> That's not funny, Garfield. Of course it's funny. It's just not funny to you. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't funny. Huh? Huh? Well, it looks like someone needs a bath. Yes, yes they we do. do. Stop sulking, Garfield. I know you don't like taking a bath. That's not true. I bathe once a year whether I need it or not. Oh, that must be Liz calling. Here, I'll leave you the loofah so you can scrub yourselves while I'm gone. Nah, this isn't so bad. Especially since I have my toy boat and my wind-up shark. Help! Shark! Shark! <laughs> I like this cool rubber mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Odie. Just trying to amuse myself. Taking a bath is so boring. That's because you don't know how to make it interesting. Make up a story. Make up a story. How do you do that? I'll show you. Want to play, Odie? <gasps> then follow me. <gasps> wow. Is it like this at the bottom of every bathtub? It is if you use your imagination. Or even better if you have your own cartoon show. This 
is so cool. <laughs> hey, Garfield, how come we can breathe and talk underwater? It's my fantasy, so I make up the laws of science. Hey, come on, let's check out the surface. <laughs> No, you can't. You see, the trouble with bubbles is... Might as well join them. Hey, recognize that boat coming towards us? Hmm. It looks just like your toy boat. The one that came with the... Oh! Start paddling. Faster, faster. Whoa, look, we're not going fast enough because we're too heavy in the water. Get rid of any non-essential items. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, it's a fantasy. And anyway, that's a toy shark. You wind him up, and he's only good for about 15 seconds. Uh, sorry to be a bother, but could someone wind me up again? Ah! Will you leave us alone if we do? Well, sure. Okay, then. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <sighs> You're lucky that thing doesn't run on alkaline batteries. Well, okay, Garfield. Huh? This is your fantasy. What's next? Mm. What? <laughs> mm. Looks like flying fish. What? Oh. Hey, you look like that thing John was using to scrub us. You just call me Lufa. You guys are a long way from your bathtub. Yeah. Any idea how we get back to it? I don't, but I'll bet the mermaids do. They live on the other side of Shampoo Island, past the giant faucet waterfalls. I'll be your guide. And how are we supposed to follow you? You can paddle, can't you? <laughs> In my fantasy, not gonna happen. I've got a much better idea. Step on it, Lufa. John is baking lasagna, and I'd hate to miss it. Almost there. Uh, look, the giant faucet waterfalls. Over there, that's where the mermaids hang out. But beware of their singing. Hey, I know this legend. You should beware of mermaids singing because it's so beautiful, it will lure you to crash your ship on the rocks. No, beware of it because they're just kind of lousy. Enough to make me give up seafood. We have visitors. Lofa, who are your friends? I'll introduce us. I'm Garfield. This is Zodi. And I'm huh? Nermal, the cutest cat on land or sea. Remind me to leave you out of my next fantasy. What brings you here? Oh, this Lofa fish <laughs> told us you could help us find our way back home. Oh, sure. We know how to. Wait, huh? sister! Why did you? It's... Oh, well, that's okay. All right. Huh? Oh, well, you We've discussed it. And we decided that we'll tell you how to get back to your tub. If you'll do something for us. Does it involve listening to you sing? No. Then we'll do it. Our cove here is under siege. 
What? A terrible monster lurks about threatening all, scaring no. everyone away. Get rid of it, and we'll tell you how to get home. What? A terrible monster? <laughs> what exactly is this terrible monster? It's... it's a... Rubber Ducky! <laughs> Could a rubber huh? ducky hurt anyone? Garfield, what are we gonna do? I have an idea. Lupa, here's what I need you to do. You understand? Got it! Yeah. Come on, Lufa! Hurry! our singing to drive him away. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to have these seashell necklaces. And now we'll keep our promise. <laughs> <laughs> and tell you how to get back to your own bathtub. Come here. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Before you go... But thanks anyway. And thanks to you too, Lufa. Have a happy journey home, guys. Come on, guys. Follow me. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me a paw. It's no use, guys. We can't budge it. Oh. Uh, hello? Can I help? Sure. Lend us your jaws. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Boy, that Liz really can get to talking sometimes. Oh! <gasps> I, I see someone unplug the tub and let all the water out. But I guess you guys are clean. Huh? I'll go get some towels from the cupboard. Garfield, we're back! <sighs> Did any of that happen? <laughs> of course not. It was just a fantasy. And not a bad one, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh, I think the lasagna's ready. Odie, do you think any of that really happened? Okay. And how do you explain these? <laughs> I kind of like them. 